Hey guys, so I'm jumping on super super quick today. I have, <laughs> I have my car warming up before I head out to the farm to take care of horses and I've got Arrow with me, but I knew that this was going to be a quick one so let's jump into it. Um, somebody had requested uh, that I show uh, one of the techniques I use in my digital drawing for Photoshop, so that's what we're doing today. I am So I'm working in Photoshop CS6 and then I have my Intuos, Intuos Pro Five. It is a medium, and my child is grabbing all of the cords, all of the cords. So let's uh, let's jump into it real quick here. Okay, so I've got just a really really quick. Uh, let's just lay in some values here and whatnot, and I'm gonna do it all in kind of a gray scale, just because I like, in my personal opinion, that this. Uh, this technique is primarily for just creating more more depth and more values uh, to make it more interesting. So, got my gradient tool. Let me get my sky in here. Okay. Let's grab my brush here. Man, I was I thought I was ready. I thought I was ready for this. Where is my brush? I've got my sketching brush. Where to go? Go, where to go? Well, that's annoying. Okay, well, we'll just let's just take that one. That'll be fine. Okay, uh, make sure I got my stuff up. Okay, let's grab. Actually, that's not a bad one. We'll do that kind of in our background color. Actually, let's go a little bit lighter because as stuff goes farther in the distance it gets kind of more cloudy, misty. There we go. So let's just say that we can only see like a top of a ridge line here. Hey, buddy, no cords. No cords. And I've never really been able to troubleshoot why my tablet has this lag, but Oh well. Okay, let's take our next value and come a little farther forward with it. And let's maybe come up with that one. So you've got a, a ridge line right there. Let's come real far forward with this one. Hey, you're fine, buddy. You're fine. Now I am doing this all in one layer just because I'm doing it quickly, but... And then let's come just a little farther forward. And... Let's just have that one kind of peak right in there. Oh, buddy. Okay, let's fill this in a little quicker here. Okay, so I have like a really, really basic kind of composition in here just to give you the idea. So now the basis of this technique is taking like a lasso or you can use the polygonal tool as well, but I find it easier to use the lasso. You have an elephant. Here you go. So. I call this kind of like my uh, kind of scribble, scribble technique. So I'm just going to take my polygonal lasso and I'm just going to keep in mind kind of where my ridge line is and where I want the light to hit. So I'm going to start, uh, oops, not that one, coming in and I'm going to scribble in some geometric kind of shapes here. Now, the more you overlap, the better, because it's going to give you plenty of uh, kind of positive and negative kind of shapes. So, and I've actually seen this concept used the most for like concept artists and whatnot, um, just because it's a very quick way to add some depth and detail without um, going into painstaking detail. So I've got kind of my shape in here. 
And then I'm just going to go maybe a shade lighter, come in with my, my brush and I'm actually going to do my pressure sensitivity with my opacity as well. And then I'm just going to come and just block in some of these areas. And you know, maybe since this is kind of coming a little farther forward, maybe I'll darken that tone. Actually, no, I'm actually going to lighten that up just because it would have slightly more contrast. And we'll just come in and do some areas in here. Okay, and then the magic, deselect, and there you go. So you've got some really fun kind of... Uh, really kind of jagged edges and shapes and whatnot and like when as a as a concept artist like when you're trying to just get a basic concept down really quick you want you want something that's gonna look effective with an efficient amount of time so when I zoom way out of this you get this sense of value and this sense of um, detail but you, it really took you no time at all so that's uh, that's that technique. It's kind of a fun one. Um, go ahead and experiment with it. Tag me in a video or something if you if you try it, or tag me on Instagram. Um, my handle there is uh, just Sparrow Springs. So have at it. Um, I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, let me know what you think. Uh, post in the comments and uh, get on my email list if you want to keep up to date with stuff. And uh, I'll see you later.